This is real phone talk. Two men. You know, blood, blood, blood everywhere. Shout out to Mulatto Black, you know. Shout out to the whole Trap House movement, Jersey, Philly, New York, NOC, Scarlet, you know, WBL, DRT. You know, shout out to all the league, you know, in the in the in the Tri State area. Down the South Jersey. That's what's up, funeral man. You are a part of the uh, Trap House, New Jersey, right? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm one of the I'm one of the founders. Me and Mulatto Black is actually part of the Trap House, New Jersey. You know. That's very good to know, man. I'm glad y'all got together and got something out there official. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Funeral man, how many years you been battling? Actually, to tell you the truth, I've been doing music all my life. Like, you know, I'm 39 years old. I'm not scared to be how old I am because, you know, to be honest with you, most most battle rappers are actually about my age that are successful or that at the top. So I don't really care about people using my age because that's not that shit shows you that I have wisdom and experience. I don't really care about that. I'm definitely 39 years old. Um... I also, um, how I got into battling, I've only been battling for about a year, actually. Yeah. Um, I had a little battle scene here and there years ago, but I've only been battling for about a year. But, uh, I've been doing music for about, about, about 20 years. Oh, okay. So you've been in the battle scene for about a year? About a year, yeah. What, a year. what made you start, um, getting into battling? Um... Well, it's funny. It's funny because um, I actually always, always wanted to battle. I was telling a couple of my uh, my, my friends, guys yeah. that I, you know that I grew up with, and they, they didn't even hate it. I think they didn't even believe it. Yeah. Like, why? Like, why? 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 Are you wasting your time? And I was like, no. Nah. I said I want to try. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't really support it. You know what I'm saying? They just they like they feel used to what they're used to, so they didn't support it. But when I um. I think it was, um, in fact, I know it was, it was Jay Kettles and my, uh, my bro Jay Law was battling it. And, uh, and not taking nothing away from Jay Law, that's my brother, yeah. but I seen the passion in Jay, Ke- in Jay Kettles' eyes, and that made me want to battle even more. Because, I mean, even though I think Jay Law won that battle, but it was just the passion that he came with, and he knew that he was like, he knew he was up against somebody that was really good, but he still stuck it out. You know what I'm saying? And I felt that. I felt that look that he had, that, like, yeah, like, and he just coming with some shit. And I was like, you know what? I, I'm, uh, I want to do this. And that's what made me decide to, to um, I actually asked for a couple of challenges. Nobody wouldn't give me a challenge at first. And then, um, the boy M1, shout out to M1, he, um, he actually gave me this, my first battle. Which to me was was a pretty dope battle. That's what's up, funeral man. I see you. I see you really into the battle scene too. Do you associate with your fans? Say it again. Do you associate with your fans? Uh, yeah, my fans. Are, uh, to tell you the truth, my fans are actually a lot of battlers. I have a lot of battlers that are fans of mine, and they're cool with me. But yeah, I definitely associate with my fans. Yeah, I definitely interact with people. I'm not one of those people. If you hit me up on Facebook, I'm definitely going to talk. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on any 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 social site. If you can't get to me, I'm definitely going to talk to you. I'm not I'm not that type of person that won't answer you back. You know what I'm saying? Well, people ain't coming with no dumb stuff like asking stupid questions that they already know the answer to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But other than that, outside of that, yeah, definitely, man. I love the people, man. I love to talk to the people because the people are who define 
you. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The people are with it, with it is. Funeral man, who would you like to battle in the future? Anybody. I'll battle anybody. It doesn't even matter. Like, like what I like to battle, like, that comes off the top of the head. And it showed me I could run down a list of people. But it would be mostly a lot of people I would want to battle in this area because I want to bring this area up. I think this area has a lot of stars out here. You know what I'm saying? But if I had to, like, who I'm going to battle as, like, a dream match, um, I would I would love to battle. Uh, I would love to battle Howard O'Donnell. I would love to battle Luck. I would love to battle uh, uh, Goods. I would love to battle any of these dudes, you know what I'm saying, that is, like, the top, the legend. I don't call I them, I, 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 don't, I, I don't call them top tier legends. I just call them battle rappers. Well, you know, he's been doing it longer than, than a lot of people. At, at the end, for me, for me, at the end of the day, funeral man, y'all all battle rappers, whether most of y'all did it a long time ago or who did it this time. For me, that's how I look at all of y'all. I look at y'all like y'all won. Yeah, battle rap. That's a respect, man. I definitely can respect that. That's, that's definitely something I, I can respect. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but the names that would come to mind and yeah. people would most people would say that. True. As far as, like, in this area... Yeah. Oh man, uh, there's so many that I would love to chase. Like I would love to battle Bliss Creed. I would love to battle G Wiz. Yeah. I would love to battle, uh, you know, uh, Major Lead. I would love to battle, gosh, uh, Caution. I would love to battle Bonus. I would love to battle uh, Holmesy the God or Holmesy the Rebel. I would love to battle uh, uh, Dre Dennis. I would love to battle any any of them dudes because to me they're good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about, I mean, you, I'm, you, you witnessed one of my battles, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm all about trying to support the culture and bring this area up, because there's a lot of people out here. So I would, I'll jump in that ring with anybody. They want to, they want to face, they want to face me, you know? So, it doesn't matter who it is, they want to face me. I'm good with it. Funeral man, um, how do you take criticism? Um, I take all criticism as constructive criticism. I never, unless somebody's clearly hating, I never take it as destructive criticism. But criticism for me is always constructive because it always makes, you know, it makes you better because everybody ain't going to like what you do. You know what I'm saying? So some people may be like, you know what? This dude, I don't like him because they're just hating and they never lift up none of your stuff, never lift up your prior work, never lift up anything. They just, they just don't like you as a person. But they don't even know you as a person. Like, you know, like, like for example, like, somebody may say they don't like, uh, let's say, uh, Voice to Five Nine or Joe Biden. They say, I don't like Joe Biden. Why? I don't like him. Why? Because I don't like him as a person. But you don't know him personally. So how do you don't like him as a person? And you've got a lot of battlers that do that. Now, as far as people that actually critique and, and say, I think he should have said this bar better, or he could have did this with this bar, or he could. I respect those people because those people are actually giving you a jewel that you can take with you. You can grow from it, you know. So that's why. That's why I'm really, I really take, I really listen. My ears, my antenna is definitely up when it comes to criticism. I don't be like shy away from it or be like, oh yeah, you just hate me. I don't do that. Funeral, you know? funeral man. That, that's definitely good to know too, man. Cause you know, I'm sure I'm not the only one that wants to know. I'm sure a lot of people would like to know the fans and all that. So that's a good thing from you. You know what I mean? As you know, being humble. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, funeral definitely. man. Funeral man. What? Uh, what makes you different? <laughs> Honestly, to be honest with you, what makes me different is I try to stay away from the trending topic. Trending topic mean, meaning, let's say, um, I don't, I don't want to, matter of fact, I'm not even going to say his name. But let's just say you got three battles. Okay, most of them sound similar. They, they, they do their, the way they, they present their, their material or whatever. I was always going to always try to do something different. And you never know I'm going to come. You know what I'm saying? I've been writing music so long. Like, I, I can write any type of way. It doesn't matter. I can write street. You know what I mean? Because I'm from street, so I can write street. I can write those little if you want to tell me, I can write that. If you want something deep, I can write that. If you want something about feelings, I can write that. If you want something about history, I can write that. So, like, I always try to take a different angle, and everybody's different. And that's what people got to understand. Even though you are who you are, you can't always approach the same opponent with the same format. You got to be, you got 
gotta basically kinda and it's weird to say this, but you gotta kinda cater to what they're doing at the same time you gotta dissect them. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be more like uh I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna do my own thing, I'm just gonna spit these hot bars but everybody spits a lot of people with hot bars. But what makes you stand out in hot bars? You gotta have personality. You gotta have something behind you and be like, yo, this dude here, man, he, he's the truth. Like, so what makes me different is not being like everybody else. I just don't want to, I don't want to do the, the typical punchline thing that everybody does. You know what I'm saying? You stand in front of me, I'm, I'm trying to break you down. Period. Whether it's lyrically or whether it's being get straight to the point. So, well, that's, that's what makes me different. Yeah, I witnessed I witness, um, a few battles, so I definitely know how Funeral Man does, so that's that's definitely good. Uh, where they can find you at on the social network? Um, Maurice, M-A-U-R-I-D-E, Shadow Co, Shadow Co, all one word, Shadow Co, Present, you know what I'm saying? And you type that up, I'm on Facebook all the time, you know what I'm saying, that's what I do. Or you can join the Trap House, um, side note, Trap House Jersey page. I'm on there. You can just say, we run this league. You can find me on there. You can find me on the Trap House page. Just say, uh, Funeral Man. Just type in, side note, Funeral Man, or hashtag Funeral Man. And you can put in, and, and you can put in on, on YouTube. You can go on YouTube and you can put in Funeral Man Battles. All one word, Funeral Man Battles. And all my battles will come up. My thoughts on my music will come up. And you can actually write something on there if I'm trying to get in contact with you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm on Twitter, Shadow Co. Radio, all one word. Uh, and what else? I'm on Instagram, Funeral Man, um, Reese, Reese the Funeral Man, R-E-E-S-E, the Funeral Man. Put that in there. I mean, so I'm on Instagram, Trap House Jersey, Instagram. So, I'm easy to find. And I'm, and I don't, I don't, uh, how, how do you say, I don't duck people. If I got something to say, I'm gonna say it. If I don't, I mean, I'll let you know that I ain't, I don't, I'll leave them having that to say that's what's up, being straight up. Listen, man, I want to take the time, man, Real Phone Talk Music on MTV. want to take the time to thank you, man. I appreciate you giving me the interview, brother. Oh, yeah, definitely, man, definitely. Um, You know what I'm saying? Um, We also have an event tonight. You know, I'm sure you, I don't know if you're going to post this tonight. So. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm going to say that, but we definitely have an event tonight in Philly. I'm saying anybody can come out. You know, it's 20 hours to get in, but it's going to be worth it. We got a lot of good battles on that card. Um, yeah, so I just want to let everybody know, you know, everybody, if everybody was to write like this, they're prepared for the best, would be a lot, it'd be a lot more classic battles. So I just want to let everybody know, just, just try to write like you prepared for the best. It doesn't matter who's standing in front of you. Even if you think that that tool is not that great, just write for him like you prepared for the best, because you never know. Somebody might have goose smoke or whatever. And it's, it's bad to see somebody to actually think that they're better than somebody because of what they think, and then they end up getting in the ring with me and they end up losing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people felt that way about me. They slept on me. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to do this to you. And they want their face to you. Like, oh, man. And a lot of these dudes, some of them do very laugh more because of me. And I'm not saying, like, I'm being pompous or whatever. It's just I write like I'm prepared for the greatest battle of all time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you're supposed, like, to, man, man. You're supposed to go up in there like that. That's the way you're supposed to go in there with that full force. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right, man. That's right. And always, and all, and another thing too, always be different. Don't always follow the norm. The people think that because they follow the norm, it's going to make you hot. It only when you follow the norm, it only makes you hot as the, the man that created it. Because once he wants something different, they're going to go off for him, and they're going to be like, oh, that's old. You know what I'm saying? You know how that go like that. Everybody was doing that Drake flow for a while. Then, then Drake changed up. Now everybody's trying that now. But don't be, don't get caught up in the trending topic when it comes to battling. Like, it, it's clear when it comes to battling. So people don't want to say it, but I'll say it. It's clear when somebody sounds like somebody else. Like, it's clear. You know what I'm saying? So let's just be honest. But other than that, man, just be different. Try to stand out. Anytime, man. Anytime you need me or whatever, I'm here, man. Yo, Got my number. Yo, listen, 
listen, I'm ready. Listen, email me some music, bro. I got you, man. I email you something. Uh, when I get later on, when I get a chance. Um, mm-hmm. I got, yeah, I got your email, right? Yeah, I'm gonna. If not, I'll inbox it to you. All right. Yeah, inbox me your email. I, I oh, got you. All right, peace, good brother. All right, peace. Music on MTV.